Yes. So how was that like? Well, I mean, it was very different from sitting on a beach, <laughs> as is as New York is. Right. Um, but you know, I thought uh, we turned it around, but then it was just impossible. It was too big, not my thing. So I, you know, helped them get a new chef and moved on. Went back to the beach. So did you enjoy your time while working there? Oh, very much. Oh, very much. I mean. You know, it was an amazing okay. challenge, and um, there's a part in the movie that, that Proust, the famous French writer, said, you know, you have to yeah. keep doing things to see if your light is still on. So that was sort of my, I wonder if my light's still on, whether I can do that. Yeah. Just keep talking to me like you're interested. Oh my God, I feel like I'm out there. Oh my God. Like, I'm like, I don't give a shit about my Look at that. Be in, you know, impassioned by ingredients. It's all about the ingredients. It's not about you as the famous chef or the fact that you can cook with 18 different ingredients on one plate. You know, get one or two perfect ingredients and then treat them with respect and genius. And how do you like having your own documentary made up for me and Anthony? I just need to work with Oh, God. How was it working? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Only one question. One question. Yeah. Astonishing. I mean, I never thought this would happen. You know, uh, I've been writing books and diving with sharks, and suddenly they say, "Let's make a movie." Are you talking about?